What is up everybody? Stetson with Stetson Lawn Care here guys. Today is a great day. We're gonna be doing my 2023 lawn care setup video. A lot of people have been asking for this and I just kinda haven't had time, but we got some time. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. So behind you, in front of me, is the actual setup. But we're gonna start in the shop. Kinda wanna go over everything in here. Start with the small boring stuff and we're gonna end with the awesome big equipment. So to start out, over here, bunch of hand tools. This shovel right here, guys, is amazing. Uh, the brand is Corona, and it like doesn't break. It's like solid steel. It's real heavy, but it's good for when you're like digging out stumps or digging in hard clay because it doesn't bend, doesn't snap, doesn't move at all. So I really like it. A couple of spare tires for the trailer that I actually got a couple weeks ago. I need to get bigger tires. The wheels are the right size, but the tires are way too small. So we'll be doing that, and then come around here. Got a bunch of just random, got the wheelbarrow, got a, some leftover mulch, and we got a lawn leveler for when we're doing sod. 16 foot ladder on the wall. We are missing a pole saw that somebody is borrowing from me. We've got the Milwaukee, the M Fuel brushless system. Uh, I like this for the hedge trimmer attachment. It's really awesome. Had that for like five years, runs amazing. And I just got an old steel pole saw. Uh, I think that the the shaft is all stripped out in there, so that needs to get fixed. But we have the Echo one that is on leave right now. Back here, we got our hedge trimmers. We got the Milwaukee one. This is the wall hedge trimmer I haven't used in years. I always grab the Milwaukee one and then the Milwaukee uh, little six inch chainsaw. So you come over here to the back wall. Uh, we've got a bunch of storage shelves with a bunch of random stuff, you know, leftover stuff from jobs or leftover Christmas light stuff. So if you don't know, we do Christmas lights in the winter, obviously around Christmas time. And I got a leftover spool and there's a couple bags of bulbs and all these and a bunch of random stuff, clips, whatever the case may be. Come over here and we just got a tarp. We got some of the ladder quick link thingies or quick click. Got the chute for the new Toro we just got, but I put a grass flap on there. So I'll go there down there. Got a bunch of random drainage parts. Uh, some rainbird stuff, sprinkler, irrigation down there. Here's my blade graveyard. Not really graveyard, but my blade uh, holding ground, I guess you can call it. It's where I put all the blades that are not being used at the moment. A little bit of random stuff up here, chainsaw chains. And then up here, just got leftover oil and oil filters, random stuff. Then up here is all the attachments for the, the Toro, the steel, and the Milwaukee interchangeable systems. So you can see we have a lot, a lot of stuff. A couple of random ladders over here, a 20 foot ladder, and then a eight foot ladder, maybe 10. Come on this wall over here, some leftover corrugated pipe from last year. Had this Toro commercial battery mower. Had this for two years now. We don't use it as much as we should, but it does do great work. It's just the battery just doesn't last that long. So that's why I don't really like running the battery equipment because you got to take like 10 batteries just to get you through the day because we do a lot of push mowing. This thing's pretty neat. Cut some tall grass. I have a couple of videos. Maybe I'll link them in the iCard somewhere. And of us mowing the really tall grass. Got some buckets. Another wheelbarrow. We've got our waters. Gotta always have the waters for the guys. And then here is the uh, Flex Force system by Toro that came out last year. And they sent it over to me. Man, it's awesome. You can, we usually run the edger attachment every day because it's really, really light and it's really quiet. So it's real nice for those big driveways. But this thing is almost the same as the Milwaukee system. You got the edger, I've got the hedge trimmer attachment. There's even like a tiller attachment back there. Pretty, pretty cool, man. So that's all really for the, the small boring stuff that nobody clicked on the video for, but I figured I'd get that out of the way. And let me take you guys out to the front. All right, so this is my arsenal of little mowers. Uh, I guess they're not so little, are they? We've got a 48 inch Stander X right. 36 inch standard eye right, standard intensity to be exact. Uh, we actually just got this last month. Toro sent this over to us. This is a 36 inch Toro grandstand. We have not been able to use it that much because uh, the yard's just starting to grow, but it's got about 1.2 hours on it. And then come over here, we have this Toro Titan Max that we've had for, I think four, this is the fourth year we've had it. And this thing comes in clutch on those big properties. It's the 60 inch deck and just it's really nice for having on those big yards really really nice toro titan max has a kohler 7000 series pro motor on it um this motor is pretty good it's never really bogged down on me and then the grandstand over here has the kawasaki fs 541 v so this is 
not the FX. I prefer the FX model because down here in Oklahoma, it's very dusty and um, the FS model doesn't do very well with the air filter. It's been good so far, can't really complain. I like how the hydro tank's out on the outside of the motor too. That's really cool, out of the way. And it's really to change that hydro oil filter. Come to the 36 right, this thing has a Kawasaki FX 600V, a 19 horsepower engine. So this is the FX engine, that's the FS. Like I said, I prefer the FX because down here in Oklahoma, the snorkel air filter definitely helps keep the dust out of the engine. This mower has 390 hours, 389, call it 390. All my mowers are fitted with grass flaps and grass flaps are amazing. They're operator controlled discharge chutes. So if you press the pedal right here, when you press it, it opens up the flap so you can side discharge or if you're like next to a house or a mulch bed, or by a car, you don't want to blow grass in the flower bed, close it up and it's closed. So really, really neat. All the mowers have them. Really love grass flap. Come over here to this right, Standard X 48. It's got a Kawasaki FX 730V with 23 and a half horsepower. And again, it's got the snorkel air filter, which I prefer. Um, this mower has 321 hours on it. So these, these two rights have been the dailies for the past couple years. And then we just got these Toro, this Toro. So we're gonna be running this daily this year, I think. Kind of taking this on maybe like once a week. We'll probably be taking this Toro every day, I would imagine. And then we take this Titan Max a lot too. Let me take you guys to the trailer. So this is a uh, custom trailer that I had ordered. So I got it custom. I was really, really wanted to get the three foot walls, not the four foot walls all the way to the top. Cause I still wanted to be able to hop over the side of the trailer. And if we got the four foot walls, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I'm glad I got the three foot walls with the wire mesh all over it. We got a uh, landscape lock box up here that is holding just, you know, stuff we need in the field every day, random stuff like the weed eater string, extra blades in case you bend a blade or break one. And then it's got, we've got an Echo PB 2620 in here. We've got two steel BR 800s. This is an 800X, 800C. The 800C has a side start. Really don't like the side start but it's what we have, it's what we use. I guess I should have mentioned, this is a 16, seven by 16 foot landscape trailer. So that is the size of it. Tandem axle, 3,500 pound axles. We got the green touch racks that I've had for like six or seven years now, and they're still holding up, man. I love them. I don't like the new style where you don't have these little thumb holders. So on the new styles, you just unlock it and you can pull them all out. So I like the thumb, individual thumb holder. I just feel like it's more secure for each, each uh, weed eater, but we've got an Echo weed eater right here. This is the PE 2620. And then we've got two SRM 2620 weed eaters. And then we've got an SRM 3020 on the bottom, which is the big bad boy for uh, just as a backup or if we have an extra guy with us that day. Come over here, we've got the Green Touch V3 blower rack holding an Echo PB770. And I like this blower. I've had this blower for like six years. It doesn't really get used that much. Um, it's kind of as a backup, or like I said, if we have an extra guy or need some extra extra power. All right, so like I said, guys, earlier in the video, we do a lot of push mowing. So now that I'm up on the trailer, we have two HRC Hondas. They're HRC 216s, I think. They're commercial Hondas. Swear by these mowers, man. Love them. Super powerful, never bogged down, and they've never let me down either. They've never not started. They always start. And then we got this, uh, we got this thing last year. This is the Toro Turfmaster HDX. It's got the Kohler engine, um, so it's not the Kawasaki one, which I prefer. I prefer the Kohler engine because I've had the Kawasaki model, and it was just super underpowered on the 30 inch. And 30, uh, the Kohler engine's been great on the 30 inch. It has enough power to cut through those the thick lawns, so I like them. Over here, we've just got a random tool rack just to have some extra rake shovels on hand when you're mowing. You never know if you need them. Then we've got the gas cans, so we got a five gallon sure can two and a half gallon sure can and then the sure can racks that hold them in place and then this year i actually stained or i didn't stain i painted the floor i put truck bed liner on the wood floor of the trailer just to help it hold up better and give traction in the rain and so far it's been great it's really durable and i can't complain about it so this is the truck that i use that we use for the mowing this is a 2013 f-250 super duty i've got a cattle guard in the front of it it's got about 190,000 miles, I think, and it's a 2013. Works great. It has a 6.2 gasser. Never let me down. It's just your basic work truck trim. 
So I'm sure a lot of you guys have the exact same truck and it looks the exact same. So that is about it for the lawn care division. I do have a dump trailer that I'll show you guys, but I'm gonna put all this stuff up and then we're gonna head over to the dump trailer. All right, so we are back at my dump trailer and this is an Iron Bull 7x14 trailer, obviously tandem axle. And guys, this thing's been great. I've had this thing for, I think about two years. Kind of full of some junk. I kind of throw some junk in here whenever I don't have time to go to the dump or anything. It's usually my uh, my trash can. But we've had this thing for two years and it's never given me any issues. Seems like a pretty heavy duty built trailer. I mean, I've hauled equipment on it. I've hauled, you know, four or five tons of rock and it always, it always does good. I do have a solar panel hooked up to it to keep the battery charged, which actually works awesome. It kept the battery fully charged all winter long. But here is the trailer, guys. I mean, it's your run-of-the-mill dump trailer. I'm sure a lot of you guys own one just like this. That's really all my equipment, guys. That's everything, you've seen everything. That's about gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys have in the comments below for your equipment. Let me know if you liked my equipment, what you thought about it. Very happy and blessed to be where I am. The Lord has definitely blessed me and I just can't thank him enough. Can't thank all you guys enough for supporting the channel, supporting all the videos and everything. But this year is gonna be a great freaking year. We're gonna crush it. And I'm just so excited to see what happens this year on YouTube, because guys, we're gonna be uploading so much this year. And if 18 year old me saw where I am now, he would be like, wow. I mean, I don't even think I'd be able to comprehend where I am. Because when I was 18, like if you go back to my very first mowing video, my very first video ever, you'll see my setup and what I had. You'll see everything. And if you wanna go back and watch that video, maybe I'll link it up also an eye card but just we've definitely come a long ways and i just i can't thank the lord enough and also all the all the customers who have helped out giving us the business and everything we have very very great clients so if there are any clients watching this shout out to you guys really appreciate you guys keeping keeping us busy this just feels like a dream guys that's all this is it feels like a dream craziness so i hope you guys enjoyed this video we'll have some more videos this week until then peace out